why is there so much of sin and darkness in the religious establishments that we all belong to why do people in positions take advantage financially immorally of others right and it's easy for all of us to sit and point our fingers at them but i think it is important that we also look at ourselves right we've all fallen short of the glory of god we've all got demons within us and if we do not step out as communities and pray for each other and pray for our leaders the devil will continue to attack the devil will continue to use his strength to push us away from Christ i know that none of these things that happen within our religious establishments and churches and ministries glorify god when they do things wrong yes when injustice happens we have to fight against it but at the same time we need to pray for their lives and for their souls so that they may know the lord it's something that all of us go through but it's important that we shift from pointing fingers to praying hands for each and every one that we know that is struggling with darkness and this is my request this is my hope as i think deeply about how we can change things as a ministry as part of a church that it starts with me if only each of one each of us work on holiness and purity in our lives can that be reflected towards the next next generation and to the leaders that lead us so god be with you god lead you god strengthen you to walk in purity let's keep praying for each other because purity starts with a community that prays for each other in this war against darkness the enemy is defeated remember but he still persists to keep us away from the glory of god so go down on our knees let's go down and pray and hope that everything will change with his coming god be with you have a blessed day